Good morning. Today we are going to continue our lesson about the neurons. We talked about their structure and now we are going to understand how the nerve impulse are transferred. First, what is the nerve impulse? A nerve impulse is the electrical message that is transmitted down the axon of the neuron. The impulse is generated at points along the axon and the speed of this nerve impulse varies with a very the speed of this nerve impulse vary from 1 meter per second to 100 meter per second. A reflex arc includes the pathway which consists of sensory neurons, interneurons and motor neurons and this reflex arc is the basic structure of the nervous system. What is the difference between the reflex arc and the neuron? Neuron is the basic structural unit of the nervous system while the reflex arc includes all the sensory neurons, interneurons and motor neurons pathway. It is the basic structure of the nervous system that makes it work. And the brain is not included in this reflex arc. Nerve impulse have another name, which is action potential. What help the action potential to work out or to start? The action potential need the minimum threshold to work, but at the beginning, when the neuron is not conducting any impulse, it is called a resting neuron or a neuron at rest. What does this mean electrically? It means that there are more sodium ions outside the cell and there are more potassium ions inside the cell. How does this affect the electric charges on the neuron? This is the shape of the resting neuron. Sodium ions are present on the out part of the cell, making the charge positive, and there are potassium ions inside the cell, and because potassium ions carry more negatively charged electrons than sodium ions, it makes the inside of the cell negatively charged. At rest, if you measure this uh, charged by uh, electrodes, it will uh, it would be a negative 70 uh, milli voltage. So at rest, the voltage of the neuron is about negative 70 milli voltage. So let's get back to the threshold. The sh the threshold is the minimum stimulus that is required to produce an action potential. When the action potential is done, the sodium potassium pump began to work to return the sodium ions back outside the cell and the potassium ions back inside the cell. For each two potassium ions pumping inside the cell, three potassium uh, sorry, three sodium ions are pumped outside the cell to maintain the unequal distribution of the charges, returning the neuron back to rest where there was uh, more uh, positive charge outside the cell and more negative charge inside the cell. Let's watch this video. It will explain more how this sodium potassium pump works.
is of low concentration. We said that the speed of action potential varies from one meter per second to a hundred meter per second. What is the main factor that makes that wide range uh, of difference in the speed? Axons, like we said before, are covered with myelin chest, which is a lipid layer. This myelin chest has many gaps along the length of the axon. These gaps are called nodes, Ranvier nodes. This is a node between the myelin chest. It is called Ranvier node. Sodium and potassium ions can diffuse across the myelin chest because it is consists of lipid layers, but they can diffuse through these nodes. So, if the axon is covered with myelin chest, sodium and potassium ions only need to diffuse through these Ranvier nodes, which increase the speed of the action potential. While if the neuron has no myelin chest, so the sodium and potassium ions have to diffuse across the whole length of the axon uh, body, and this makes the speed of the, uh, the action potential slower. So we can say it again that neurons with myelin chest carry impulses related with sharp pain because it is transported faster while neurons with no myelin chest carry impulse associated with dull pain because it is transferred much more slower than the neuron with myelin cover this is the two kinds of or the two cases of uh, neurons with the one covered with myelin chest here sodium and potassium can only diffuse through the Ranvier nodes, so the pulse is transferred very fast, while in this neuron, where there is no myelin chest covering the axon, the sodium and potassium ions have to tra diffuse along the length of the whole axon, making the, the, the speed very low. We said before that each neuron is connected to the other neuron through dendrites of one neuron and the axon of the other neuron. They are connected through what is called synapse. Synapse is a small gap between the axon of one neuron and the dendrites of another neuron. And actually each neuron has hundreds of synapses. In our body, there are more than 100 million neurons. These synapses allow the transmission of the electrical and chemical uh, neurotransmitters between one neuron and another. So what is the neurotransmitter? Neurotransmitter is the chemical substance that diffuse across the synapse and bind to the specific receptor on the dendrites of the neighboring neuron to give the, um, the required response. So that's it for today. Make sure to solve the assignment. I will leave it. I will leave the link on Google Classroom. Goodbye.